Hello, welcome back to HWLRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. Damn. I guess Bud Crawford is who they say he is. And man, I told y'all it was going to be hard unless he could bring his power up. And as you can see in the fight, Crawford basically was down in the fight. Told you Kel Brook was going to make him think. And he was kind of fancy. He made Crawford go three different styles. Or no, hold on though. He may have made him went three styles, but... Then again, thinking back, then Crawford started off orthodox, then switching to southpaw because Kell Brook's jab wasn't really there no more. But I like to see, because that Spence and that Crawford fight is a lot more interesting now. It is a lot more interesting. And what Terrence Crawford showed y'all is the man is versatile. The man is versatile, and this is what really matters and what really counts. Everybody trying to do a Mayweather and Pacquiao. Jump up weight classes, go down weight classes. Hans Crawford is the only one that I said that could possibly pull off a Mayweather like that, and he did. So with that being said, Terrence Crawford is going to be a problem in the welterweight division. He's going to be a problem in 147 because he brung his power up. And, you know, a fighter with skill to have a skill in a fight in any weight dang on class. But the problem is, and the question is, can he hit you in it matter when he's moving up in weight? And by the looks of the knockout, looks like he got more than enough power to move up a couple more weight classes. Like he could dang near fight at 155. So, I mean, y'all go ahead and tell me what y'all think. Because I think Terrence Crawford could do the same thing all the way to 155. I don't know about no 168. I don't know about no Andre Ward weight class. But Bob Arum is tripping. Bob Arum is tripping. And this is the number one thing I want to see. Bob Arum let him go. I want to see him go to Mayweather's gym. Because with Bud Crawford's style, Mayweather's going to get him them bigger checks. For sure. And his fighting ability... He's going to keep on getting them checks. See, he just needs Mayweather promotions. That's all Terrence Crawford really needs. Because as good of a fighter as he is, which he just showed y'all Saturday night, you got to give a man his credit and just do. See, you can't be... See, this is what Terrence Crawford... I told you, Kell Brook don't want to be a Gamboa. And that's what he is now. He's a journeyman now. He's just a journeyman. He, he's no longer the, the Kell Brook we used to know. But Terrence Crawford doesn't want to be an Andre Ward. Meaning Andre Ward didn't really get his big, big buddy fights and all the credibility and everything to like his last fight when he took out the Great White Hope. So that there goes to show it does matter to your promotion. Just know the business. Get your contracts right. But you definitely gonna need to holler at Mayweather Promotions, uh Leonard Ellaby, somebody of that caliber. So I definitely think you should look up Mayweather's number. If you ain't got it, send him a text this morning and be like, hey, man, what you think about getting me out of my contract, buying me out of my contract for my next fight? And Mayweather needs to make that move because he can get it back. And not only is he going to get the money back, the nigga got a horse that can win a race. <laughs> So you know you could you you all you gotta do now is promote. You got the horse, but Bob Arum messed up. Bob Arum just don't know how to promote and how to use Terrence Crawford to his company's ability. That's why he feel like he's taking a loss. Yeah, you'll take a loss when you really don't want this man to be your best fighter. The man's your best fighter, and you need to advertise him like he is. But you don't want to do that. That's why you need to go ahead and let him go. Because I feel like you'll be held back staying there. Because it seems like they really don't want to push you. Because, nigga, if I had a company and turn nigga. <laughs> I have on Terrence Bud Crawford t-shirts. Nigga. Terrence Bud Crawford on the front of my car plate. I have everybody asking, man, who is Bud Crawford? Y'all check him out. Check him out. As soon as you check him out, you a fan. So that's all them nigga need was promotion. That's going to be it. Terrence Crawford is who he say he is. And he deserves to be number one pound for pound. Be, even though Earl Spence is one of my motherfucking assassination favorite champs. Because he just go in there and assassinate people. That's why I said this would be an actually good fight. Because Earl Spence ain't going to do what Kell Brook did. And not only that, <laughs> he's the same nigga that broke his orbital bone. And Terrence Crawford ain't breaking no orbital bones. But he did whoop him and knock him out. I guess he ain't had time. The referee stopped it quick. But that's it, and I'm out.